that same normal husband-wife relationship that is there, there must be sometime a little bit of disturbance in their tranquility. And that is normal, that's natural. Even as Aisha sometimes used to say some things, that if it had been one of us, we would have made a big issue. And Nabi Alayhi just smiled. Because she was a wife, she had a kind of a right. So he taught us how to live with our wives. Now that subject is a very vast subject, and I've mentioned and discussed it many, many times. That we will never succeed if we have to demand rights, rights, rights. And if we have to go by the book of rights, then we will end up with World War 3, 4, 5 and 6 in our homes every day. We will have to go by the book of Ihsan. We will have to go by the book of Ihsan. Generosity, kindness, overlooking, forgiveness. If we go by that, the husband goes by that, the wife goes by that, then there will be unity. But if the wife opens one kitab and says, my right, and the husband opens the kitab and says, my right, then there will be a boxing match going on in that house all the time. There must be that forgiveness, that large-heartedness. We must make our home Jannat on earth. And how will it become Jannat on earth? It is when both parties are going to fulfill the other's rights. So Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam gave us guidance with regards to this matter. And Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, if we have to look at his teachings, then it gives us a very clear picture that marriages and the upbringing of children the running of business, all these type of things does not affect a person's spirituality. It elevates it. 